Good morning to you. Welcome for some encouragement today. Not just encouragement so that you feel good for a bit, but this is something to hopefully empower you to have an impactful life in the kingdom. So today I'm looking at Matthew chapter 6 and it is um, <clears throat> the, the part where Jesus is teaching people how to pray. Um, and he says, don't be like the hypocrites, don't pray standing in the synagogues so everybody can see what you do and what you say. Um, but when you pray, verse 6 of Matthew 6, go into your room and when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And I have found the, not only the value of praying like this, but the privilege of being invited to go into the place that is, to me, my secret place, the place where it's just, it's my private place, but to know that God has a place like that as well, and He's inviting me into that place with Him. And then also there's a bonus to this, that when I pray in that place, He's there waiting for me to hear what I have to say, but there's also... A reward that comes because of that. Now what is the reward? The reward is not having more things, doing more things, that's just a bonus. But the reward in the open is seeing him answer publicly the things that are prayed in private. So when it comes to anything that I do, but especially ministry, if I'm going to just carry on doing what I know to do or doing what I know I can do because I have a gift and I have certain abilities and I have lots of information. If I'm going to do that without uh, and, and bypass the time of praying to the Father who's in the secret place, there won't be any rewards openly. There'll be a few people who get blessed and, and even because of the grace of God, people will be healed. But we want to see more of that in our lives. So when I have separated myself and I've waited on God in the secret place and I've prayed to him in the secret place and I've heard what he has to say to me about what I'm going to do in the secret place, then I go expecting to see a reward because that's what the, the word says. And it's not a reward for me that I get a couple of pats on the back or a couple of medals because I've prayed so well and I've performed so well. The reward is seeing God step in and get involved in what I'm doing. Now, you need that as well. So if even if you aren't in ministry, especially if you aren't in ministry, you, you go out there every day to a nine to five job. Maybe you stay at home, you look after your family. You still need the rewards that come because you prayed in the secret place. A lot of people say, I'm going to pray and they're so humble and they don't expect any return. But this scripture tells me, that God, who sees in secret, will reward you openly. So this is what we're looking for in this life today, where we're surrounded by hopelessness and darkness, that we go out there and we say, God, your reward is that you've heard the things I've prayed in the secret place, and you're going to reward me openly with your presence. I believe that's the first one. So in Matthew 6, it goes on, and Jesus says, In this manner, therefore, pray, our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And so I believe that this is the greatest reward that any believer who prays, any praying believer, and every, every believer should pray, but this is the greatest reward that we can ever see when we are faced with situations that won't shift, when we are faced with decisions we have to make, when we are faced with opportunities to be anxious and doubtful, that we go into the secret place and we pray. Simple relational prayers that we come before the Father who sees in heaven and he's waiting in the secret place. He's waiting there. We come to him with these things on our hearts. You know, Philippians 4, be anxious for nothing but in everything, by, with prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. This is the secret place prayer. 
And when we come to him with all of these things that cause us, could cause us to be overwhelmed or to give up or to be confused or anxious, we come into the secret place, we close the door and we, we lay our hearts out before him. And we don't try and speak in old King James language to God. You can just be yourself in the secret place. We not, don't have anybody to uh, imp, uh, impress. We don't have anything to prove. He's just waiting there for you. So even when you're anxious, even when you're doubtful, you can still go into the secret place and tell God exactly how you feel. And then the reward is that we say, God, your kingdom come. Your, I don't think we will ever understand the fullness of the answer to that prayer here on earth. When we say to God, your kingdom come. And in the middle of your anxiety, in the middle of the opportunity to give up hope, you've chosen the secret place before you do those things and the reward comes and you see God come into that situation things might not change straight away but he'll speak to you because you went to the secret place he'll speak to you this is the first sign of your kingdom come is when God speaks to you and supernatural peace comes and anxiety just takes a back seat and supernatural peace comes and you're able to stand and you say, God, I recognize the signs of your kingdom because God's kingdom is order. It's not chaos. It's not disorder. It's not disorganized. God's kingdom is order. And when God comes, his order comes into the situation where the enemy has tried to bring anxiety and depression and chaos. So when you go to God today, say, God, here I am in the secret place. And I say, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And you'll see some kind of order, the kingdom order, come into your thoughts firstly. And when your thoughts begin to align with what God says to you in the secret place, there's peace that comes in, in, the, in the heart, in the inner man. And then you walk knowing you have the supernatural peace because you've chosen the secret place. The rewards of the secret place. God's involvement in your life, God speaking to you, and the supernatural peace that comes because God has been invited to be involved in your life. So get into that secret place today. You don't have to tell anybody else about it. It's between yourself and God. Get into this place where you say, God, I feel depressed. I feel hopeless. I feel discouraged. So Lord, your kingdom come, your will be done in this situation today and expect him to speak. And expect to sense that supernatural peace. We don't go by feelings or emotions. But supernatural peace is something you will feel. Something you will know that you know that you know. You now have peace about something because God has spoken. So be encouraged with that today. The secret place is waiting for you. Have a fantastic day.